Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Uh, this We will go over how you feel about your person and how they feel about you. We'll get some advice for you and an outcome. So let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. Um, how does Scorpio feel about their person? Okay, you feel like they're the magician. They know what to say, how to say it. You feel like um, they're not quite your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Um, but you feel like there's a connection. They could be the one. Uh, they're very skilled. They take matters into their own hand. Pure masculine energy. Yeah, the Four of Cups. Maybe you feel like you're not getting what you want from this person. You feel like um, maybe they're not seeing the worth of the relationship or of you. You feel like um, there's boredom, discontent, dissatisfaction within the connection because somebody's still um, stuck in the past or stuck... Uh, going to social events or, or socializing or they're still they still have more than one energy in this connection here this is how you feel about your person so they're missing out on you um, they could be telling you one thing and, and doing another or saying another let's see how your person feels about you Scorpio how does Scorpio person feel about okay that crap on the show nine of cups so they love the energy between the two of you and they, they may even love the sex sex life between the two of you it's fun you're fun they love the luxury lifestyle here um you feel like somebody's just keeping you at a at this place with their words here you could be dealing with a virgo could be dealing with a cancerian doesn't have to be um but this person loves whatever you provide they feel like this is wish fulfillment between you and them they feel like um it's good there's still a sense of autonomy of being single or singlehood or singularity i don't know something about single um but at the same time still uh that you exert a lot of feel good energy when they're around you and they like it and they soak it up you know um how does your person feel about you scorpio how does scorpio's person feel about them yeah, the Queen of Wands, they feel like you're sexy, you're sultry, you're seductive, you're outgoing, you're charismatic, you're a go-getter, you have an idea, you move on it, you dress well, you look well, um, you get a lot of eyes on you. You're, um, they feel like you're walking in your life purpose, you know, and um, that makes them very attracted to you. Um, they makes you. That makes them like there's a magnetic pull between the two of you. It could be very carnal, very physical, very passion-based, very emotional between the two of you and not um, a mental connection or a strong mental connection. It's not cerebral. It's not um, something about it not being um, solid here. Let's see. What is the advice for Scorpio? What is the advice for Scorpio? What is the advice for Scorpio? The Nine of Swords. Um, worry anxiety you need to stop it whatever happened between the two of you it happened let this let this be the beginning of the the ending of the anxiety the mental attacks the overthinking, the nightmares the uh negative thinking um being overly dramatic uh, it's over let that crumble you know um do the work in terms of shifting your focus and shifting your thinking okay um let's clarify the nine of swords here it could be something about maybe you feel like this person doesn't want to commit they're not committal yeah the high priestess or maybe you feel like they have somebody in the background or they're always going to have the relationship in the background with the magician and the high priestess it's never going to be made real maybe that is your frustration um or you're going to find out there is someone else um Let's see what uh, the outcome is. It says do nothing with the high priestess. Sit pretty. You know your position. You know the part that you play. Do nothing. Let things unfold naturally to you. If there is another woman in the background or another man in the background, it says with the high priestess, you are the woman above all. You, you are the threat to all women or all men, if you will. Um, It says that uh, a relationship, it could become stronger, but you've got to let your guard down also. Planning, pre-planning too. If you want to be with someone, you need to show that energy. It needs to exude from you. The hard exterior, yeah, the hard exterior 
the hard um the hard face the 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 toughness of you needs to subside you need to learn how to get soft or softer what all is hidden will come to you with a high priestess in due time don't fail to see how important someone is in your life um, because because you're too emotional with the high priestess there it's like you got to see past or through the veil it's veiled truth or veiled knowledge what is the outcome as scorpio takes the advice of the cards the page of wands so it looks like you get uh, messages or you get a message of things moving forward of exploration of movement forward of maybe even rekindling um a passionate makeup session um you get a message of um maybe receiving a promotion starting a new endeavor a large sum of money coming into you you're going to live life on your own terms how you want to live life um that is the outcome here you get uh it also the element of surprise and the page of wands is a yes answer so if you have a question here the answer is yes Let's see what the hidden element is for Scorpio. Okay, so the hidden element is you're stronger than you know. So it's like some of you want something to be um, stabilized or made real or like you want it to be real. You could even feel like somebody's with you for your finances you could be oversleeping or not getting enough sleep. You're going into a new career, retiring something old. Some of you could be feeling like, you know, time is of the essence in terms of making this thing happen, maybe getting married or setting a date. Someone could be younger than you. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting the texting your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Uh, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can come for the collective reading. You can ask questions. Um, do subscribe, hit the uh, bell notification so you know when I am going live. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.